Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today we're going to be talking about Betty White and her anti-aging secrets. And before we jump into that, let's talk a little bit about Betty White. So Betty White recently passed away on December 31st at the age of 99 years old. And Betty White first appeared on television in the late 1930s. In the 1950s, she starred on Life with Elizabeth and continued to be a prominent TV personality by appearing on discussion, game, and variety shows. Next, a successful tenure on the Mary Tyler Moore Show in the 1970s, and Betty White co-starred in another big comedy, The Golden Girls, in the following decade. Betty White joined the cast of Hot in Cleveland in 2010, and became the oldest host of Saturday Night Live that year after a Facebook field drive to get her on the show. And Betty White was born January 17th, 1922 in Oak Park, Illinois. Her father was an electrical engineer and her mother was a homemaker and Betty White was an only child. Her family moved to LA when she was just two years old. Betty White began her career as a production assistant for a local television station. She debuted her first television series, Life of Elizabeth, in the early 1950s, which she co-created with George Tibbles. White told The Hollywood Reporter he authored and I produced. I was one of Hollywood's first female producers. The notion of the show was inspired by a sketch she had previously performed on a local television. Betty continued to work on television, appearing on shows like the United States Steel Hour and Petticoat Junction as a guest star. She was also a favorite of a talk show host, Jack Parr, who frequently featured her on The Tonight Show, and she appeared on game shows like Password on a regular basis. In 1961, she met her third husband, Alan Ludden, on the show. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, White's next television series, gave her a huge boost in her career. White, who played Sue Ann Nivens, demonstrated that beneath her charming face was a biting wit. Her character worked in a Minneapolis television newsroom with the show's star, Mary Tyler Moore. Sue Ann could be counted on to make witty, yet heartbreaking jokes at Moore's expense when she wasn't wooing her male colleagues. And Betty received two Emmy Awards for being on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. And after this, Betty starred on The Golden Girls, and this was in the 1980s, and this was a sitcom. And the show followed the lives of four senior female companions, and its popularity demonstrated that there was a market for shows with older characters. During its seven seasons on the air, the show was consistently among the top-rated shows, and it received multiple honors, including another Emmy Award for Betty White. And her career took off again in 2010 after a long period of steady work. During that year's Super Bowl, she starred in a hilarious candy bar commercial that rapidly became a fan favorite. And then she also became the oldest person to host Saturday Night Live. She explained to Newsweek that she was hesitant to do the show at first. She says, it was the most terrifying thing I'd ever done. It was a lot of fun, but it was also difficult. And I found an old interview in Harper's Bazaar, and it's the fabulous at every age issue. And Betty says, I'm not sure why I'm being included in this fabulous at every age issue, because I'm not fabulous, I'm just old. But I'm the luckiest old woman on the planet because I'm blessed with good health and energy. I don't have any secrets for staying so energetic, but people just keep coming to me with great projects and I can't say no. She says from the start, she had square jaw bones and all the things they tell you are not photogenic. I wanted to look like Lana Turner and I just didn't. She says she did do one modeling job and it was for Sears and she got 50 cents for modeling a dress. And then she said her salary went up from then. She says, I'm afraid that my style hasn't changed much ever. I'm still wearing what I wore 40 years ago, mostly slacks and sweaters. She says she wishes she would wear skirts because she has pretty good legs, but you just get so comfortable in slacks. I feel like I'm the opposite. I find pants uncomfortable and I just wanna wear dresses and skirts. So I have them in every color of the rainbow, unless she has the elastic waist ones, which I kind of want, to be honest. When there's an event, I have this wonderful assistant, Janice, who finds me things. She's very diplomatic. She'll bring me something in and say, why don't you wear this? And Betty says she doesn't know what's in style or anything, so she says yes. Betty says, people take a very dim view of aging, not just in show business, but in almost every business. They're always looking for the young people coming up, which I understand but make yourself as useful as possible so that they'll find a place for you too. And don't complain. Try to accentuate the positive rather than the negative. If you're complaining, you're no fun to be around. And fun is the name of the game. She says she doesn't need much sleep and I always have trouble getting myself into bed at night. I have a beautiful golden retriever, Pontiac. He's sitting here right now. And when it gets past midnight, he walks over to the stairs and looks at me like, are you ever coming up here? But she says if I get four good hours and I'm fine, 
I've been that all my life and I wish I was like that. Trust me, I always get envious of people that can just get by on no sleep. It's probably why Betty White was so successful because she just could get by in four hours and got so much done. And she says she doesn't eat anything special, french fries, hot dogs, and she says she's not a big breakfast eater. I'll have a sandwich at lunch and then I'll come home and Pontiac and I will have a vodka on the rocks and then our dinner. She says you can't get much better than that. She says, speaking of pets, I have a fan club called Bats Pets that was started more than 40 years ago. It still has a few of its charter members and I've become close friends with them. But I've had some crazy fans. Every once in a while, somebody wants you to sign something weird. One time, this rather heavy set man came to me with a pen and he pulled up his shirt and there was his big tummy and he said, sign my belly. Oh, please sign my belly. And after that, I had to make a rule. I don't sign body parts. My mom said to never lie about your age because you forget what you told one person and get mixed up. But it's amazing, past a certain age, you can get away with murder. You can do anything people will say, well, the poor old soul, she's, you know. She seems like she has a really a good outlook on life and that's probably why she lived such a long time. It seems like she was always constantly working and just doing what she loved. And I like that she's a good role model that you can still work up until like basically your late 90s. And if you have a good attitude, there's always a role or something for you to do. She says, you better realize how good life is while it's happening because before you know it, it'll all be gone. And she told that to People Magazine in 1999. And she says, take some wheatgrass, soy paste, and carob. Toss them in the garbage and cook yourself a big ass piece of pork. And then she says, get eight hours of sleep, nine if you're ugly. And then her another quote is, try not to die. She says, accentuate the positive, not the negative. It sounds so trite, but a lot of people will pick out something to complain about it rather than say. It's not too hard to find great stuff if you look. And she also says, avoid anything green. I think it's working. So Betty White really isn't a health nut in any way. I mean, she eats hot dogs, french fries. I mean, maybe she just eats things in smaller portions. And she says she doesn't even really exercise that much. She says she has a two-story house and very bad memory. So I'm up and down the stairs. And she says another great tip is to keep busy and don't focus everything on you. That wears out pretty fast. It's not hard to find things you're interested in, but enjoy them and indulge in them. And I think that keeps you on your toes. She says a sense of humor keeps her young. Don't take yourself too seriously. She says you can lie to others. Not that I would, but you can't lie to yourself. She says, I've never thought that much about age. I learned that at my mother's knee. She says age is not important. It's where your head is. She says, I should follow better eating health rules about hot dogs and red vines and potato chips and french fries are my favorite foods. And she says there's no spare time and she's constantly active. And I think that forces you to stay well. She says, you don't fall off the planet once you pass a given age. You don't lose any of your sense of humor. You don't lose any of your zest for life or your lust for life. She says, if you're a dull person when you're young, you're gonna be a dull old person. But I don't think just because the years that go by that you have to be that way. And so I really don't think Betty White has any really secrets. I mean, it sounds like she just like lives a positive, busy life. And I guess she probably just has good genes. I'd be interested to know like if anyone else in her family lived a long time. But I said she aged really well and it really bugs me because I was looking online and I couldn't find anything in terms of like which beauty products she uses. Um, I'm just surprised no one's interviewed her and like asked her what her favorite perfume was or like what she uses her for her face cream because obviously she looked amazing at 99 so I'm like really curious so I think I might try to email her assistant on her Facebook page and see if I can get some information. And I found some articles in terms of Betty's white secret for longevity and she has a few of them. So her first one is find your purpose and find things that you're interested in, enjoy them and indulge in them. And I think that's important too, is to find like a passion and something that really keeps you going. For me, that's YouTube, making videos. It's like my creative passion and outlook. She says to live in the moment. She says, I don't think about things I might have missed out on. And she says, you don't look ahead and try not to look back, which is true. Sometimes I have tendency not to live in the moment and I can, let's say, like have regrets or like dwell on decisions I made in the past. And sometimes it's bad also to look too far in the future and just really, like really be present in the moment and enjoy every day. And sometimes you can take things for granted and you'll only be as young as you are today. And she says, laughter is the best medicine. And I think that's important too. And she says, it's very important to exercise your brain. And she says she loves puzzles and she's an addict and she says, and so she says she loves crossword and jigsaw puzzles and she's an addict. And I think that's really good, especially as you age to prevent dementia. And she's also an animal lover. And I think and pets are also important. I know like my cat Pinky helps 
with anxiety, just like hanging out with him sometimes, like petting him, it really calms me down. So I think that's important too. And she says to keep moving. And she says, even though she doesn't exercise it because she's so busy at work and just like constantly doing things and moving up down the stairs in her house. And I think that's important too. I find too, like I'm almost happier when I'm busy. And then when I have too much time to myself to think after a while, like it almost drives me crazy and I get lost in my thoughts. And she also says it's important to treat yourself and there's no point in constantly depriving yourself. So she says sometimes indulging in your cravings, just everything in moderation. So with her, it's like the vodka and the hot dogs and the red vines licorice and the chips. But it just seems like she just did everything in moderation. Because if you look at old photos of her, she was always thin. And I love her vintage style and a lot of the old photos and her makeup and stuff. And even like on the, I looked at her Facebook page and I saw like the last picture taken of her and she had this incredible lipstick on. And I'm like, I want to know what color that is. It's driving me nuts. Maybe I'll comment on the photo or something and someone will respond. But let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do a follow up video um, with some information in terms of of what her favorite beauty products are because I love doing videos like that and I've been wanting to do one about Betty White and this is why it's kind of been delayed because I keep searching and searching for information and I can't find anything and it's driving me nuts. So if you know anything or you happen to reach out on her Facebook page and find some information, feel free to comment below or email me, message me on Instagram. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And also thank you all my new members who joined this month. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.